All right, I'm going to be going over continuously calculated impact point bombing today, or CCIP bombing, which is what it's normally referred to. Uh, it's normally used for dumb bombs and CBUs, primarily the 84, the 82, uh, CBU 87, and CBU 97, and their multitude of variants. I currently have 12 Mark 82 airs equipped. Uh, you can flip them between a high drag setting or a low drag setting, which is essentially like a normal Mark 82. Uh, we'll start off with a low drag setting today, uh, just to demonstrate the normal use of CCIP. Uh, in the SMS page, you can also set up a, a different release settings. You can go single bomb release or switch it to pair. And then you can also set up a ripple release pulse, which will release multiple bombs in quick succession with a defined uh, spacing. Uh, so, it, for example, if I set up to release 12 bombs with 12 release pulses, it will, with a single press of the weapon release button, it will release all 12 bombs in a spe specified spacing. So the symbology for CCIP is fairly straightforward. You have a bomb fall line that's kind of just pinned to the flight path marker. You got a line that falls down to this little circle. The circle here is the pipper that you want to put over your target and release your bomb at. And this line here gives is base is post designate for CCIP. What it basically does is if you have this line here, if you press and hold, if you put the circle over your target, what would happen is you press and hold and it would transition into a continuously calculated release point or CCRP. Uh, and then it would release once you get over the proper spot to get the, dar the targets on to get the bombs onto the target. Uh, we'll go over that. We'll, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is do some normal CCIP bombing. So what I'll do is I'll bring myself off set. I'm not going to go straight nose on. I normally do this at about 10 to 15,000 feet. So we've got a target there marked with smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly myself towards it, get myself off set to right about here and I'm gonna roll in and pull towards the target, put my nose on the target, level myself off, and then slowly pull towards that target. And you can see that post designate line coming down slowly. And if I go fast <laughs> enough, it'll go away. And then when I hit the target, it'll release. There's one bomb away. It's going to hit just to the right of that target. So as I pull up and away, we'll be able to see that. And it hit just to the right of the target, but close enough that it hit. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that one more time with single bomb. All right, so I'm going to bring that target just to the offset, offset from my aircraft so I can still visually see it. Get myself some speed. I'll push in a little bit farther this time. Now I'll go ahead and roll over, pull towards the target, level myself off, stabilize, and get myself lined, target lined up on that line, and slowly pull the noros towards the target, and release. Pulling away. And we'll see that bomb impact the target and it's destroyed. And now we have a new target here. So what we'll do is we will flip it to, instead of singles, we'll throw a pair of bombs at it. So it'll release both two bombs at the same time. Uh, typically, if you're dropping 82s or something, uh, it's a little bit more reliable if you drop pairs, uh, just because of 
the inherent inaccuracy of dump bombing, you're not going to be exactly on the target every time, especially if you're doing shallower dives. Alright, we got ourselves lined up on the left side of that bomb, or that target here. Go ahead. We're fairly close now, so we'll roll in, pull towards the target, level ourselves back off, stabilize, 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 slowly pull towards the target, and release. Throttle back up, pull away, and get ourselves in a position where we can see our impact. There we go. So finally, we've got, let's see, we've got eight bombs left. So what I'll do here is configure ourselves in the high drag configuration. And I'll switch ourselves back to a single, and we'll do ripple eight. So what this is going to do is it's going to rela release it's going to give it eight different pulses to release a bomb. So I'll get eight bombs releasing. What I'll do is I'll, just for an example, I'll give them a 50 foot spacing here. So now what we'll get is a line of bombs in high drag configuration. So what I'll do is I'll come in low and to release overhead these marked targets. Should get another smoke popping up. Looks like we are. But as an example, we will just take a line of trucks here. There's a line off to the left of the smoke there. So you can see the CCIP symbology here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going about the speed. We're gonna pull until we get around a target. Press Altitude. and hold. CC Altitude. Bombs are away. We'll satellite and pull off. And you can see those bombs deploying their chutes. And we hit a truck. <laughs> 